Hi friends, you all are doing so. So this is a continuous video on the multi-steps form. So on the last video, I have shown you how you can get started with the multi-steps form. And in this video, I am going to uh, you know create the uh, um, multiple steps of the uh, multi-steps form. Okay, so this is my website. Okay, now I'll go to the component called multi-steps form so where is the multi-steps form here and so in last video you have shown i have created this for multi-step form and so in order to create the multi-steps form uh, i first we have to create the multiple steps okay so first step i will create from here you can go from here start step and create a new form steps so and i'll give you the i'll give the name of this form as form, and then in the form definition we need to go and in here you will need to uh, set the mode of the form is it going to be insert or the added or the read-only insert means you want to insert a data into the uh, system data words added you want to show this form as a this step as a the added of the uh, information or you want to just show as a read so i'm going to take as the insert uh, mode as a you know insert mode and then you have to select the uh, table and the uh, Okay, so we first I'll select the our table from here. So maybe I want to take the information on the contact table. So I'll select the contact here, and then I'll come here and I can select the uh, form. Okay, so the information form, and then in the information form, we want to uh, display as a you know uh, the which section you want to display you want to display the entire form you want to display as the you know what we say the tab if suppose if you select here uh, okay yeah i was yeah that's the main important thing right so first you come here you select the table then you can select the type whether you want to load uh, the form or you want to load a tab of the particular form or you want to you know redirect to some other form or some other uh, place so i want to load a form or you can select a loader tab so here if you come here you know it will display the um, of this form what tab you want to uh, display so you are able to display journal tab or preference tab i can select here or you can select the entire form right if i select the entire form then if i come here then this will display my entire contact form okay you don't need to select the tab cool so i'm saving this step so this is going to be my first step and on the next step i will click here and i will come here so i can you know deselect this this is not uh, you know uh, by default it comes but that's how not it should work we can uh, this option we will give later on this first i'm just setting up the my uh, steps for the multi step form so first is home second is uh, contact detail i want to give uh, or the account detail I want to give. So I will give the account and uh, multi steps form. This is my multi steps form where I want to associate this step, right? And I want to select the different different account and I want to load the entire form for this. Okay. So that's all. You can save it here or you can give the account form. In the account, which form you want to display, information form or you want to display the uh, account form okay and then come back here and then i'll click create another step called uh, contact us so i'm going to give the demo for the step likewise you can create the multi uh multiple steps with multiple tables okay so multi steps form and here contact us i'll again go with the contact table you can select any of the table and i will go again with the load form 
and I will go with the form called uh, portal contact. OK, and that's all. So I will save it in the steps also. And this is step enable, you know, and it's a table permission. It will enable and move previous step or step permitted once. What it means once you, uh, you know, select the next step, suppose you want to go back to the previous step, then you have to select it here. So let me go and in the form option, let me go back to my first step here. Let me. This is my form. OK, this was my multi step form. OK, and here you can see all the steps are there. How many steps is there for this uh, multi step form? So now I'll start selecting what will be the, my first step which I have created, right? So I'll create first as a home. OK, save it. Here, these are the option like enable or title. It means it will display the title format. If you want to display the no, one second of this, you want to display numeric format and then progress or you want to see the progress bar. So this you can select it from here. I will tell you the next step. So once I select first step, I will go to I'll save this and I'll go to the next step. In the next step, you will select uh, the another step okay so so second step would be my account save on the account i'll go for the on that so that's the all three step i wanted to select and on the contact us uh see this is the my microsoft raw problem in the if you select I need to deselect this otherwise it will you know on contact us again it will display the account information so on the last step there will be no next step that's your final step so all done now I'll go back to my power pages studio I'll save this information This takes a uh, few minutes to sync it. So here uh, it will load my form. Now you can see it here, right? Uh, and this is the you know the title I have shown, you know selected here as a title. That's why it's displaying as a title, right? If I select other steps like this one here, if I select the numeric. Save it and then sync it. Then it will show the numeric bar. See step one, two, three, like that. Here you need to give the permission of your table, right? So you can create here new permission on the contact i'll give all this access and this is for my demo purpose so, so i want the security rules save Next table permission, I'll give on the account. So I'm giving all that permission, but you can control according to your project requirement here. And you can give the different types of rules. I'm giving all the rules so that you know it should not create a problem. And then there was a lot. Yeah, these are the two tables that I have used in my you know portal. So I'll again sync it and I'll do the preview. Click on desktop. Uh, let it on hold. And meanwhile, let me discuss all this. So I don't even want to do uh, position. You can set uh, where this progress bar should be displayed, right? And then previous step, 
number to step title, ignore last step in progress count. So all those settings you can uh, set it here. And it allows you the multiple records per user. Form steps, it displays all the forms. Okay. And if you want to, you know, allow uh, other want to enable the some sort of setting on particular form, then you need to come here and see it. Right. So I want to review the desktop. Not this room, but we switch back to this. This is my step, and if I want to enable any kind of formation, I can do it from here. Taking some time to load. Come on. Actually, my internet is so that's why it this too much time, then it does not take it. So I have added, uh, you know, on this page to my main navigation, so I can see it here, right? And here I can give all the information. I can fill the mandatory form, mandatory details, or the required details, how we can manage things. Just stay with me, I'll give you the next step. So once you click next, it creates the data. Uh, it will already create a record for this you know, page into the dataverse. And then again, you can give the detail here, account details. Uh, the, so all this navigation, you can control it from the, uh, from your dataverse label. If you want to change any kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the label control or the form design, and then be reflected here. So let's. For well, now, I have completed all three steps. I can click on submit. Submission was completed successfully. Okay. So that's how you design your form, and you can, you know, uh, do other settings from here, like edit form. You can uh, do this. You can enable the capture. Here, at one or and on submit, if you want to display a particular message, you can set it from here. And uh, if you want to do some attachment, then you can add uh, your timeline. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. You can enable the attachment from here. Okay, so in the attachment, we will have option to store this attachment to the uh, data voice or to the jaw or you can do the integration from the SharePoint. Okay, so that's it for this video. Maybe I can cover the other topics into my upcoming video. So stay tuned. Thank you. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Bye bye.